Okay, so my weigh-in on January 1st, which was Sunday, is 520.0 on the dot, which I'm very glad about because last time you guys um, got a weigh-in for me, I was actually like 521 point something. So I have not gained weight since then, so I am fucking glad about that. Let me tell you, I'm so glad about that. So this year, I am doing things a little bit differently. I'm not going into it like, oh, January 1st, I'm going to count calories. I'm only going to have 1,200 calories. I'm just going to have fruit all day. Like, we're not doing that. This isn't the broccoli, chicken, fruit diet. Not happening. That's why I binge. That's why I fail. I am focusing on reality and that's how i'm going into it this year so i do have a goal i would like to weigh 399.8 before 2024 so that means i have to lose 120.2 pounds this year it's doable because it's only two point something pounds a week i can do that i know i can do that so last week i weighed in at 520.0 and today i weighed in at 514.6 so that is a 5.4 pound loss by literally just stopping takeout <laughs> what i made normal foods i had mashed potatoes i had meatloaf muffins i had lasagna i made taco pasta like i had normal human foods with a normal human amount like it was just a normal amount so as for my weigh-in last week i was 514.6 this week i was 515.8 I was only up 1.2 and I think it's because I was going back and forth. Um, one day I was doing great, next day I wasn't. One day I was doing great, next day I wasn't. If I would have had a like the whole week at a horrendous rate of just binging or like overeating or whatever, I would have been up so much more weight. So it's like as much as the yo-yo of it all made me feel like crap. I'm almost grateful it was a yo-yo and not just like a full-fledged binge week because that would have been very bad. So yeah, I'm up 1.2. Um, I should be down about five pounds right now if we're doing um, based on my goal here or like a little over four pounds. Um, I'm only down about five pounds so i am still like there where uh my goal needs to be so i'm i'm happy about that but still like i could have done so much better but those candy bars they really uh they really uh did something <laughs> biggest trigger food i feel like is just like straight up candy bars like oh my god anyways so <sighs> I weighed in at 520.0, which means I did gain weight and I'm exactly where I was on January 1st. Today is actually Tuesday and um, I got a new scale. You guys will actually see that in a vlog. Um, I opened it for you guys and I explained why I got a new scale. And I weighed myself today because I wanted to see if the scale was accurate. So I stepped on the one that I usually use and then I stepped on the one, the new one. And I'm already down a couple pounds from just Sunday. So that makes me really happy because like I said, I'm not what I consider um, binging. Am I overeating? Yes, but I just feel like there's a different level. I don't know how to quite explain it. Okay, so now on to like my weight and stuff. Um, so last week I weighed 520.0. And this week I weighed 515.0. So that means I'm down five pounds, which makes me really freaking happy. The beginning of the week was kind of rocky. I was slowly getting into things. And then when I had my appointment, you know, they taught how you're gonna eat after surgery, how you're gonna eat a little bit before surgery, how they want you to eat now. And it was just a lot of like education and like teaching you like what they expect from you and like how things are gonna go. So at the current stage for me, um, they want me to eat less takeout and they want me to eat several times a day because they taught a lot about like how your stomach, like when you get super hungry, it starts to like shrink and it sends off a lot of hormones. And for someone who eats a lot, those hormones can make you overeat and that's why people overeat because they just don't eat as much and as often as they should. So they taught like, you know, eat protein first, have, you know, a lot of protein with fiber. And what I love is like, 
they're like, don't be afraid of fruit. Don't be afraid of carbs. Like you need those things, but have healthy carbs. And what they consider healthy is like whole wheat, whole grain and things like that. And the fact that they only want me to lose one pound right now is very, it makes me feel good, but I do have my own goals. I do not want to have surgery in the 500s. Um, today is actually February 1st, so I did weigh myself and I was 511.6. So that means just since Sunday, by the way, today is Wednesday, just since Sunday, I'm down over four pounds. Your girl's doing it, okay? She's doing it. So last Sunday, I was 515.0 after losing five pounds that week. So yay me. And today I was 508.2. So that's 6.8 pounds down in one week. So that's pretty much seven pounds, <laughs> but we can call it 6.8 because I like to be right on the dot there. So I'm down 6.8 pounds this week and I am very, very proud of that. So there was a new scale that I bought that I started using. You guys actually saw that. And when I first got it, it was only like two to three pounds different from the scale that I was using before. It actually made me two to three pounds heavier and I was totally fine with that. I was like, it's cool. Then there was like two weeks where I did not weigh myself at all. And I stepped on the scale and it said I was down like 30 pounds. I was like, I'm doing the damn thing. Um, it was inaccurate. <laughs> it was inaccurate. Unfortunately, that scale, it weighs feline right on point. Right on point with our other scale too. So the whole time I thought I was a certain weight, but I wasn't. So I went to my trusty scale that I stopped using because of my ankle, but my ankle is completely healed, doesn't hurt ever, um, it's totally fine. So when I stepped on the scale and I saw that that other scale was inaccurate, uh, my heart dropped. I was very upset with myself. Um, my dietitian does know my weight and she knows my accurate weight, which is the one that you're about to know. Um, I'm very let down, but you know what, it's okay. Um, I'm gonna be following my dietitian's rules, you know, doing everything that she wants me to do like food wise. So I'm really excited for that to start showing up on the scale. But here's my weigh-in for today. I did take a picture for you guys, 523.6. And it's sad because I did think I was back in the 400s, but I am okay. I am so okay with this. Um, so I have done absolutely everything that they have asked me to do. And I was actually doing um, Instagram Q and A's today and I was getting a lot of people saying like, what do you mean? You haven't done anything they told you to do. <laughs> You've gained weight. And I'm over here like, ma'am, no. Um, I actually filmed myself stepping on the scale today. Yes, I did. Inside of the place. Yes, I did. Uh, they know I have a YouTube, so <laughs> they understood. So when I first went there, um, my first appointment, I was 533. You know, I had clothes on, obviously. And you're going to see in this um, clip that I'm going to show you that I'm also wearing clothes. So they don't care what the number on my scale at home says. That's not what they're basing my like progress on or anything. They don't care what my scale says. They go off of um, when I weigh myself at their clinic, which also I'm now officially going to be doing monthly weigh-ins with them where I physically go in and step on their scale so we can see progress. And they did give me a goal for how much they want me to lose this month. So I will also share that with you. But. When I first went there, um, I weighed in at 5.33 with clothes on and I also had some earrings on, it doesn't matter. And the goal was to lose one pound. And so when I stepped on the scale, I was nervous, obviously. I actually lost five pounds since I last saw them and I will show you the clip right here. Everyone thinks I'm over 600 pounds, so. What is it? <laughs> is it bad? I'm gonna say 5.35. 528.5. Oh, as you can kind of see, I was like kind of shocked. Um, Feline was the one filming and she clicked off too soon, but like I was literally so shocked. But I'm actually glad that I have this clip because you guys can see for yourself that I'm not 600 pounds. I know a lot of people think that my weigh-ins are fake and that just goes to show that they're not. Hey guys, so I just woke up a little bit ago. I've already showered, got ready for the day. I actually have my dietitian appointment today. So it's just like a monthly weigh-in. 
check in to see how I'm doing. Originally, there was no goal, but I requested one. So it was lose one pound a week and to lose four pounds overall, obviously. And according to my scale, I have definitely done that. So I'm just interested to see with their scale and with me wearing clothing. I actually ended up weighing my clothing and it's like three pounds. So I'm hoping that I reach the goal on their scale. I have definitely been doing really good. I have been weighing myself daily and it's creeping down very slowly in the past. I like way in the past years and years ago, um, I would lose a bunch of weight overnight. I would do that for a few days, gain it all back. But lately I have been losing like a couple ounces a day or just like staying the same. And it's just been a month of just like slow progression, but that's exactly what I wanted, what my dietitian wants, my surgeon. So let's keep our fingers crossed that I reach the goal on their scale. So I should have taken a picture, but I do want to uh, tell you guys my weight from my scale at home. And then I want to show you guys, because I did remember to film it, um, the weight that I had on the scale at the office. So my weight at home today was 521.8. So I was expecting to be around i would say about 525 that is what i was expecting so here is the clip so there it is the dietitian was actually really proud of the progress i made and we sat and we talked and we chatted and set more goals and yeah it was a really good appointment so i just wanted to share that with you guys but i weighed in today and i was 524 so it was nothing super drastic but it was enough to just like kind of make me realize okay you know we're going down the wrong path here i'm trying to talk about this with my therapist is like i escape i want to escape bad emotions bad situations and by doing so i'm escaping with food you know i have a lot of things going on with my body that's fighting against me but thankfully the second half of the week my body was finally catching up so today i weighed in at 522.8 that is a 3.4 loss and I'm very happy with that. So in total, actually since July of 2021, I'm down about 49 pounds. So I do want to do some like mini goals and my mini goal is I just want to be 499.8. I really want to get back in the 400s and then we'll focus on going lower once I get there. So I weighed myself yesterday and last time you guys heard my weight, it was like a 521 or 522. I weighed it at 524.6. So I've only gained a couple pounds in the last few weeks. So my last weigh in actually was 524.6 and today I was 522.6. So that's two pounds down. So I'm LOLing, but I figured I would show you guys this because this is a really big question that is happening right now people are asking what weight did i put in on the weight watchers app to get 82 points i put in the weight that i weighed the day that i started 531.2 so what is your current weight oh my god wow so you scroll like all the weights see that like how you scroll and stuff when you're my size you have to scroll for a hot minute so I weighed in today at 537.0. Yeah, I'm really sad about that. Um, so now I have to pick a goal weight. You guys already know, 199.